I noticed that using a UI search controller, when the user types in individual letters, can make an API call for each of those letters. It's not the right way. I found a way to solve that problem. So I'm going to simulate using a UI search controller and count how many API calls it might make. So when the user types something in here, it makes an API call each time they type a character in. So it says down the bottom how many calls they will have made. But this actually isn't displaying any data. It simulates it, but the data here doesn't change and it's just how it might work if you were implementing it. So this is a real problem because each time the user types in, it kicks off this text did change function and then kicks off the search function, which obviously makes the API call each time. It's not right. You shouldn't be doing it that quickly. You'd overload the API and perhaps cause the API to reject some of your calls, depending on what you're using. So there's a solution for that. We can use this make search function. So what's it doing? So it cancels any previous requests and then makes them after a delay in output one second. And this doesn't quite work because this function needs to be exposed to Objective-C. And of course, I need to call it in my view controller. Let's get rid of that console log. So when the user types something in, equivalently, we're waiting a second until the user has finished typing and then it searches. Now it's a bit annoying that there's a delay before the API call and you could decide how long to make this time interval. But as you can see, it's not making an API call for each letter. It's much, much more efficient and would end up in a much better user experience. All this code it's in the repo and I'd encourage you to go and have a look and there's also an article there to help you with this. So that's a great way of preventing too many API calls. And what's better is there were only two steps. I hope you enjoyed this video.